whoa, Xiaomi and Apple had a baby and being the villain that I am, I stole it. What do we have here? The Xiaomi laptop or should I say the Xiao Mac? First thing I'll tell you guys, I am loving this piece of metal. Yeah, definitely CNC with aluminum. I mean, the build quality matches a MacBook in almost every structural level I can think of. From the screws at the back to the grills under the chassis for like the heating vents and the parts on the side also. Thunderbolts or maybe type C's. One, two, three. And the headphone jack is also here. Crazy. And same goes for this stuff for turning it open. Okay. The one handed stuff is. Let's just say 70% as good as Apple's, which is a win. And the sub to my channel will also be a win. Alright, so in here, apart from the laptop itself, we get a 100 watt Xiaomi power brick. Yeah, it's Type C to Type C, just like Apple's. The cable feels exactly like Apple's, and it looks like 2 meters long, just like Apple's. So nice copying of Apple there. Yeah, that's very good for the consumers, honestly. I would love to see this plugged into a phone, this 100 watts, it gets pretty heated up while charging and this doesn't really fold in like the one on the MacBook charger but not really a big deal. Yeah, that's if you don't really keep your charger in the same place with your laptop in your bag, you have to like separate them because this could get something broken. Yeah, no big deal. So for the build quality, honestly before we go into that, I would love to say that I love this laptop yes everything's love about it for the fact that they try to imitate a macbook and especially for like the trackpad yeah you can see how big it is it's a bit more squared off than what's rounded over here let's just say they added like two pixels more border radius here yeah so like besides that no much difference and this is space gray yeah this is silver same cnc with aluminum same well cut points for turning it open and it goes one handed yeah look at it one handed although it's a bit more stiff let's just say if this is like a hundred this is probably like a 70 or an 80 yeah 80 is all right yeah and 80 is good and that's perfect in my book yeah i mean like it's absolutely lovely to see people doing what the consumer would like because yeah we know it's copying but though the consumers will love this honestly I know you guys are dying to hear about the display, so let's get straight into that. This laptop is equipped with a 2560 by 1600 display, 16 by 10. You can see very vibrant. That's like the best display resolution for both monitors and laptops, in my opinion. It's just on the right spot. It's not so much like 4K and it's not as small as 1080p, 1600p. And the refresh rate is up to 120 Hz. Yeah. I set mine to 90 just to save a bit more battery, but 120Hz is available and 60Hz also if you want to save even further more battery. So for a display, I'll give this like a 10 over 10 for most kind of thin and light laptops we get because this is very light yeah, and it's very thin and it supports something that nice. And this display is more than 13 inches as you can see. It's probably 15 or 14.6 or something like that. This is 13.3 inches. Yeah, so you can see there is more real estate on this display. You can get more done on this display and very nice. Yeah, honestly, it's very beautiful. But you would notice if I were to compare this display and this on the Mac, you'd observe that this has a different tone. Yeah, that's why I said the same wallpaper to show you this difference. Yeah, so this is more realistic. This is just overly saturated and very bright. Yeah, even when I get the brightness down, you can still see it's... Okay, it's closer anyways. Yeah, but I have looked at this very closely. This has a different tone. Probably because of the true tone Apple has here and also the DCI-P3. I don't know if this supports that. I didn't see any specific color profile. But what you need to know is that this supports HDR. Yeah, you can watch HDR content on this display. Yeah, this is considered retina. Yeah, they are both retina displays. So also like a very good imitation of a macbook they put in the work and the specs yeah it's a very specked out display you hardly find 
laptops of this caliber. All right, so the next one on the menu is the performance. Yeah, this is equipped with an AMD Ryzen CPU, no Intel here, so that's more battery life. And this has the Apple M1 8 core CPU and 7 core GPU. This also has a 7 core GPU, but it's integrated with 512 MB dedicated graphics along with the 7000 plus shared memory. Let me open up Task Manager to show you the real thing. Yeah, so what do we have? We have AMD Ryzen 5 5600H, that's a 6 core or hexa core CPU with 12 threads. And we have 16 MB L3 cache and 3 MB L2 cache and 384 KB L1 cache. Yeah, from the L3 cache, that's a lot of cache. Yeah, that's a lot of cache. So, like, it has a lot of power. And this is up to a 45 watt CPU. I checked it online. 45 watts, but it can be set to 30 watts and so on. So, so this takes in a whole lot of power. And this also has a very nice way of like base clocking it. Yeah, the base speed is 3.3 gigahertz, and the clock speed max is 4. Point, I think 4.7 or 4.4 gigahertz. I'm not sure, but we go online and look at that in a moment. And this has 16 gigs of 3200, that's DDR4. 3200 megahertz ram and it has two slots yeah that's dual channel and this is very very good yeah it's not lpddr4x but this is like the highest for the normal ddr4 ram so excellent no issues there 16 gig is also all right and this has a 512 gig ssd by kyoxia yeah i don't know what that is but that's a company apparently and yeah, this is the dedicated GPU as you can see, AMD Radeon graphics and it's 512 megabytes. Yeah, so I think this holds up pretty well when I compare it to the Mac, but we're going to run one or two things just to get a real sense. The first thing is the Geekbench, yeah, and obviously I need to plug this before running this, but this doesn't need charging, yeah, so I'll plug this in and we get the Geekbench scores in a moment. And here we go, these are the Geekbench 6 scores. You can see the MacBook wins, but not by too much. So that's when you know that definitely this is a laptop that is forced to be reckoned with. You can see very close single core, very impressive, honestly. And different multi cores, but still 6778 is almost on 7K, which is very good to handle almost everything for a Windows laptop. And I, I plugged this in, by the way, I just disconnected it after running the test, but I plugged this in while running this to get a better. So, um, assurance and also like i set the power mode to maximum power output in settings before doing that so just so you know this was not unfair and definitely this packs a punch yeah for the graphics opencl i used i didn't use metal because metal is not for windows it's for mac only but opencl that is on both of them macbook one by about four thousand plus points yeah Definitely a very good score here because 14,000 is not a small score. Yeah, and this is like 11th, no, let's just say this is like on the 12th gen level, this laptop, yeah. You can even see the Windows logo here, it looks like a 12th gen. But don't forget it's AMD Ryzen, but this is actually a very perfect, excellent score. So definitely this can give me a bit, yeah, I'm very sure of that. This has gaming profiles, even in the AMD menu, AMD has an inbuilt custom menu for stuff like that. You will know they had gaming in mind. They have like a couple of stuff to even help performance and FPS, stuff like that. So it's very nice. This is something you can use to game. That one is sure. Everyone knows AMD is definitely the kind of CPU to have in a laptop you want to use for gaming and also to save battery because it has better efficiency than Intel CPUs. Yeah, so that's just it for the speed. And this has a maximum frequency of 4.24 gigahertz. Yeah. And the base frequency of 3.30 gigahertz, although it can still go below that. You saw 1.6 that time I showed you guys in the task manager. But this has a max frequency of 3.2 gigahertz, this M1. So anyway, this is X and this ARM. So they're on different platforms. But for a non-ARM laptop, this did very good overall. All right, so for the keyboard, I forgot to mention that earlier on. The keyboard is exactly like a MacBook, but when you push the keys without pressing them, when you just like try to move them, they move more easily than that on the Mac. This is more stiff. But honestly, this is exactly like a Mac. I won't feel this has more travel distance than a Mac. Yeah. 
Like it's exactly a Mac. It was made to imitate a Mac keyboard, so you can even see exactly very identical. Yeah, let's try typing something in Notepad. Yeah, very lovely to type it, honestly, like, you would have zero complaints with this keyboard, trust me, this is beautiful, this is, this is lovely, this is excellent, and there are a couple of very good shortcuts, there is one, like, an, like, something on the mission control on the Mac, you can see, yeah, control, yeah, you can just, like, use a single button to switch apps, rather than having to use that tab and whatever was it, this, this is a more annoying shortcut to use than just having, a single button and also the trackpad does it three gestures up here although the animation is not as smooth as that of a mac but you get the message yeah you can also adjust the keyboard lights backlights two ways with this yeah two ways and it's pretty bright yeah let me turn off the lights just so you get a good idea yeah this is how bright it is this is the brightest this can go though, but my MacBook definitely has more to throw in. Let me set this to its maximum. Okay, so you can see this is the brightest of the keyboard lights, and this is also the second brightest. Oh, I think it's actually the brightest. This has a warm keyboard light. This is more cool, yeah. You can see the differences. So this is how bright the keyboard lights are. All right, so as you can see here, I'm exporting a video. I gave this a five second head start to this Xiaomi book and the MacBook has already overtaken it. By the way, they are exporting at the same both um, audio bit rates and video bit rates and it's 4K at 30 frames per second. And you can see this is already on 30% basically. And this is still at 10%. It's not even coming close. By the way, this is plugged in for full power and this is not plugged in. It's just plugged into an external disk yeah so you can see there is no comparison in rendering capabilities this demolishes it yeah this video was done outside the main video that's why it looks different all right this is done yeah and this is still at 32 percent i think that's all we need to know it's that big it is done thing to have them this is how the webcam looks yeah sorry for the reflection of my back window it looks terrible but trust me with enough lighting is not bad i saw it in an outdoor place today it was all right and this is how it looks on the mac yeah also terrible but thanks to the fact that the mac has continuity camera which can allow me to just switch over to my iphone the jam doesn't have that sorry if you recall at the beginning of this video i did mention there was something to hate about this laptop but let's hope it's something you can take because i can't take it but there is only one way to find out three two one So as you can see, this absolutely demolishes that. Like, there is no comparison. This is like a joke. Yeah, this is a speaker. This is like a toy. Those devices that make some funny sounds from China. This is what it is. So like, this laptop of has a lot, but it had to save cost in the speaker department. So honestly, if you have one of these, I wouldn't really mind. You can just get yourself an external speaker or something. But trust me, you don't want to use the speaker for your daily driving, no. Just get a pair of any regular Bluetooth headphones, even TWS can suffice, yeah. But it's something to know. Yeah, this is a terrible speaker and this is a speaker.
So that's just it that you need to know for the speakers. Yeah. The second thing I don't like is the Wi-Fi. Yeah, so as you can see, the Wi-Fi is right in my front. Okay, now it has gone up, but before it was showing two bars. Yeah, okay, it's a full bar now, okay. But just know the Wi-Fi is real tech, it's not Intel. It's Wi-Fi 6, by the way, it's Wi-Fi 6, but for my experience with it, probably it was a driver stuff or who knows, but for my experience yesterday, it was quite not as signal catching as the macbooks but it might be a driver like i said but anyways just know this has a better wi-fi card than this i know that but you'd get your 1.2 gigabytes per second or gigabits for your so-called wi-fi 6 maximum cap speed so i think that's it the speakers definitely something you need to watch out for before making the choice but honestly not really a big deal breaker because this has a lot more to offer than speakers and you can, you can easily get a replacement for your speaker you can get something else like this like i said and life goes on all right so what do i think about the xiaomi laptop anyways like i'll make it very simple they did a very good job and this costs about let's just say 800 us dollars equivalent and there is a variance with oled there is one with an nvidia graphics there's one with intel there are also Redmi books that are like this, but they are Redmi books, not Xiaomi books. So this is more flagship level than those ones. And they did a very good job in copying Mac. And the only takeaway was the speakers, as you heard, yeah. I think the Wi-Fi stuff might have been a driver issue. Who knows? I'll check it out. But Wi-Fi 6 shouldn't have all that issues, yeah. That's why it's Wi-Fi 6, even if it's real tech. It's still Wi-Fi 6. So I think that should be fine eventually. But those speakers are not fine and they never will be. So like I said, you could just use a peripheral for your speaker, no big deal. And honestly, I love this. Yeah, these 15 inches, the LCD, deep blocks, there's an OLED variant if you want that. And like, there is very little to hate about this. You know, yeah, you have seen everything I could show you and, and it's all right. Yeah, so I think that's just it. I hope I do more laptop reviews. Trust me, it's a hassle doing this because I'm not really good at it. Yeah, I just like talking about iOS and stuff like that. But it's a mini lot if you could subscribe to my channel after all this. Yeah, yeah, it was really a hassle to create, and I would appreciate that subscription. Like, it motivates me to take more mouse and getting more lovely contents to your display or your screen.